Hello my friends, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, May 14th, 2019. This is Jennifer. I have just a tiny bit of stuff to show you today and then uh, I have a whole bunch of mail to share. We are not in front of my design wall today because I did not finish any quilt tops and I don't have any quilting to show you so I thought I would stand in front of my table, my uh, cutting table's right here and it has all of my goodies that I want to share today on it. I was having just sort of an off day last week and I just I did a bunch of machine embroidery because it kept me off my feet and one of the things that I wanted to do is I have a pillow that I use in the sewing room to prop my foot on I put it on a chair and that's what I prop my foot on when I need to elevate my foot and um, for those of you who don't know I have chronic foot pain and I've had foot surgery and I'll have more foot surgery but I also sprained my ankle a month ago on the same foot so it's been not a really great time but um, anyway, so I have this cushion that I use and it was just a, a leftover from a project that I didn't need um, this extra pillow for. And so last week I made a cover for it. So I took this design from Urban Threads and I've used this before. Um, Cynthia actually has a bag that she wanted a drawing that has this on it, but it says, I like to party and by party I mean stay home in my PJs and quilts. Um, again, I got this at Urban Thread. I've had it for ages. I've used it a couple times. And then I put some uh, of this pinky fabric on the back and I don't know if it's coming through but it's very watermelony these colors. This is the bandana that I got in Houston um, at the quilt show when I went with Jules and Amber and Domine last year. Um, we met a guy from, uh, oh my gosh, Patrick Loose Fabrics? Pa Patrick Loose? Patrick Loose. Anyway, we met a guy from the fabric booth and while we were waiting for coffee and he was like, come see me after and I'll give you some free fabric. So he gave us what was this huge bandana of fabric and um, that's what I made this out of. It is my souvenir fabric from that plus this and has a little invisible zipper in the back if I can open it. There's a cushion inside, you zip it up, and I've I started doing zippers instead of the like the overlapping sort of envelope um, because I find that the pillow stays in a little better, it doesn't squish out the back, so I really like that. I'm in the process of making another pillow cover. Um, I actually just got the cushion for this one. I haven't cut the jump threads or anything on this, but this is going to be for um, it's going to be for my husband's study and he has a little footstool in there and these are all they're going to be really hard to see because they're all tonal but they're all travel um, images a lot of them f are from urban threads but i had some from a couple of other sets that i threw in i actually designed a couple of them myself so there are all the stamps are from urban threads and then there's if, i don't know if you can see this like at all but there's like the pyramids there is uh, big ben is in here i've got like passport stamps and all kinds of stuff but anyway it's all tonal I still need to trim the threads and then this will also be a cushion cover so that's probably I'll probably get that done this week I just need to make the back and trim all the threads and put it together and that's the easiest part so that is all that I have made in the last week I do however have um, some mail so the the back finally came from my brother's wedding quilt and I'm going to show it to you because it has nothing to do with the front at all it is all Star Wars characters but they're sugar skulls and I love this so much this is going to be the back of the wedding quilt which I'll probably quilt next week. Uh, my son is home for a week and I, I'm i still not, I, there's no way I can stand up and quilt that long yet. So hopefully next week I, I can at least get started. I got a big package from our own Jeannie. She was gonna send me four fat quarters cause I threw four fat quarters in the fat quarter lotto for her. And she sent me so much more than four fat quarters guys, so much more. So she sent me a Star Wars panel. She sent me, I'm not even sure what this is. It is a yard of fabric that has text on it. There is a Marvel Comics panel. There are fat quarters and fat quarters and fat quarters and fat quarters and more fat quarters. There is a Spider-Man panel that is already pieced. If I put a little bit of side borders on this, it'll be ready to quilt for Linus. So it's almost a Linus top. And the last panel I pulled out was this gorgeous Black Panther panel. And I just want to show you guys, I really like 
I really like how it bleeds into this awesome fabric like design in the bottom. Linus quilt tops are going to be getting a bump with all of these awesome panels. I have so many great panels that I got recently from a Orphan Block collection, from my birthday, from all of that. I don't normally buy panels and I'm really excited because these are going to be great to practice quilts on and also make really gorgeous quilts for Linus. So thank you Jeannie. I really appreciate all of everything you said. It's all amazing. And just today I got a box from V that is full of yarn for Linus and fortunately Linus is Saturday so I can take this in for a donation on Saturday for all of our ladies who crochet and knit and they will love all of this wonderful worsted weight yarn. So thank you V for sharing that. I also received a box from Karen who told me she sent her fat quarters after the lotto on purpose because she wanted me to have some and have some for Linus. First she sent me an orphan block, it's right on top. I haven't actually gone through this yet so I wanna share this with you guys. So I have a Spider-Man and then I'm just gonna pull all these out cause I can already tell they're gonna be beautiful. Guys, look at all of this beautiful fabric. So much beautiful fabric. Just look at the batiks. So beautiful, so many beautiful things. Karen, thank you so much for all the beautiful fabric. I really appreciate it. It's funny because I have been trying not to fabric shop this year and I haven't had to. You guys have given me some gorgeous fabric and I've been shopping for my own stash and I really have enjoyed getting to use more fabric. I've been doing, because of the repetitive stress, I've been doing more traditional piecing and I'm using a lot more fabric than I normally do. So it's been beautiful to have just this wonderful infusion of stuff into all of the quilts that I've been working on. So I do want to talk about uh, Quilter and Adventure a little bit. Our first sewing week was last week and I am participating but I'm working on my Star Trek quilt and I did not participate in the first week just because I've had so much stuff going on. I have four rows and one block left to make all of my rows for the row along and then I have my borders to make. So what my plan is over the 12 weeks is to try to make a row every other week, you know, have two whole weeks to, to get those rows done. Will I get it done? I don't know because when I started doing uh, the Star Trek row along earlier in the year, I had already made my Deep Space Nine row before the event started, but when I started piecing along, I started having all of this repetitive stress flare up and I had to, I just had to stop because it was overwhelming. I couldn't, I couldn't bend my wrist. It was terrible. So I'm going to try to spread it out and just do a little at a time and see how it goes. And if it goes well, then I will continue to participate with the um, Quilt Your Own Adventure. We have some people jumping back in with older quilt alongs. We have some people who are working on their own stuff. I've had a couple of messages from people saying they're quilting along, but they're not on Facebook. So they're just gonna play along in their own way. And I love that. So I hope you guys are, are quilting along with us with Quilt Your Own Adventure, because it is definitely an adventure. It's been interesting to see how different people are interpreting it. And don't forget to post your pictures in our Facebook group, because I will be having some drawings going on during the course of this. I'm still working on what that's gonna be and how it's gonna work out. Um, I will have some specific posts that'll be like, hey, post stuff here and then we'll have a giveaway. So make sure you're posting your pictures there just to kind of get in the habit of it. Also, it encourages other people to participate when you post your pictures. So please do post your pictures. I think that's all. Um, Linus is on Saturday. I have a pile of quilt tops and nothing quilted. I may try to get something quilted this week, but I've been pretty precious with my foot time, my standing up time. Um, just trying to get my ankle all healed up. It's been a month since I sprained it and I'm still like, I'm in a compression uh, sleeve and it's still swelling pretty fantastically, but it is, it is healing. It's just really, really slow. So anyway, I may not have anything to turn in this month, but if I don't turn any in this month, I will have a pile to turn in next month because I have so many beautiful quilt tops and panels to get quilted over the next couple months. There is one more thing I did want to say, because I feel like I owe it to you guys to tell you now that I don't think I'm going to Houston this year. Um, I have another thing that I'm going to do the weekend after that I'm putting my priority on. And I, I know that I said I would go as long as I lived in Austin, but I don't think I'm going this year. It falls like right around Halloween and there's a there's a stuff going on that weekend that I think I want to be home for and then the next weekend I'm going to be gone and that trip takes precedent over like everything else so I think that is all you guys have a wonderful week have a crafty week and I will see you next week bye Thank you.